friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW and I count macros and calories. It's Saturday, it is grocery haul day. I shopped at two stores and I have a lot of new food finds. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you never miss a grocery haul which is every Saturday and I upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and don't forget, come on over, join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's jump in to the grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. I made a trip to Sprouts and then I went to Fry's, which is my local Kroger store. I have some new food finds for you guys that I'm super excited about. So let's jump into the grocery haul. So starting with Sprouts, the first thing I found were these apple pie snaps. So these are like ginger snaps, but apple pie flavored. They also had pumpkin spice. I thought these would be really, really good on protein pudding. You guys know how I like to put something a little crunchy on my protein pudding. I thought those would be delicious, not to mention they would make just a really good sweet treat. So I decided to grab the apple pie. If I like them, next time I'll pick up the pumpkin. And speaking of cookies, look at what I spotted. They actually had two different partake cookies at Sprouts. They have this one, which is holiday sprinkle, and then they had chocolate peppermint. I've tried the chocolate peppermint. They're amazing. They're a really soft, yummy cookie. So I decided to pick up the holiday sprinkle to try those. I really like partake cookies. They have good ingredients. They're low in calories, low in points, and they're just really, really delicious. And then they had my favorite cottage cheese on sale for $3.99, so I picked up two of the Good Culture Low Fat Cottage Cheese, and then and then a repeat purchase. I actually bought this, not last week, but the last time I went to Sprouts. This is the brand Choco Love. This is the Dark Chocolate Peppermint Crunch. This little candy bar right here is the best thing I've ever had. It has little bits of candy cane in it, so it gives you that sweet minty, and then it's perfectly paired with the dark chocolate. I don't even love dark chocolate, but this bar is so good. I ate the entire thing that I picked up last time, so I did a repeat purchase. Two big things of shredded chicken. I need shredded chicken for a couple of recipes, and for me, this is convenience. It's already cooked, it's all white meat, ready to go, so it's zero points on WW. And like I said, it's just cooked, shredded, and ready, which is really, really convenient. And then I needed some eggs and I really like the Sprouts brand of pasture raised eggs. I don't know why, but they are so delicious and they're really affordable. And then just a ton of produce. So we love the Moondrop grapes. In fact, we had these as part of our Halloween get together with my in-laws and my mother-in-law loved them too. I actually sent some home with her. So I'm wondering if she's been picking them up too, but we really, really love the Moondrop grapes. They are so good and they were still on sale at Sprouts. So I grabbed a big bag and then a big pack of blueberries because I love having blueberries in my yogurt bowls and in my oatmeal. And then they had their raspberries three for five, which is a great deal. But then when I was at Fry's, they had them four for five. So better deal at Fry's or Kroger if you have a Kroger store near you. But I picked up three packs at Sprouts. Some fresh organic cilantro. I need that for a couple of dinner recipes. And then I needed one yellow bell pepper, a couple of sweet potatoes, a couple of zucchini, a fresh lime, bananas. I'm gonna freeze a couple of these and I need a banana, I believe for my meal prep. I'm really excited about my meal prep this week. So stay tuned after the grocery haul, I'll be sharing with you what's on my dinner menu and what you'll see Monday in meal prep. And then no surprise to anybody, another bag of my mini cucumbers. We eat at least one bag a week. I could probably buy two bags and we go through them. And I found a really good dip, a new dip at fries for the cucumber. So I'll share that with you. And then last but not least at Sprouts, I grabbed a huge bag of sweet onions. 
Now jumping in to Fry's, which is a Kroger store, a gallon of 1% milk for Troy, and then I needed black beans for a recipe, and I got some coupons in the mail from Kroger, and one of the coupons was for buy one, get one canned beans from Simple Truth Organic. So I went ahead and just grabbed two cans of black beans. I'll definitely use those. I needed some slow cooker liners because I've been out for a while and keep forgetting to pick them up. I needed one can of corn for a recipe. I had a coupon for a free Philadelphia cream cheese. And with the holidays coming up, I will definitely be using a lot of cream cheese. This is the dip that I found. This is the Stone Mill Kitchen's Garlic Herb and Feta. These are on sale right now for $3.99 and then it had a dollar off coupon. So I paid $2.99 for this and I thought it would be really good with the cucumbers. And I found a new cracker that I think it'll be really good with as well. So I picked up that. I saw these in the clearance section and decided that I would try these. These are cashews. These are sugar cookie confetti flavored cashews from the Simple Truth brand. So a quarter cup, 170 calories. I thought these would be a good sweet treat and a few of these would be really good sprinkled on yogurt or on my protein pudding. So I thought $3.50 couldn't pass it up. Light sour cream, just because we've been out of sour cream and it's something that we always like to have in our refrigerator. Tell me you love protein pudding without telling me you love protein pudding. <laughs> I stocked up on my jello puddings. However, they were out of vanilla, which was a little bit of a bummer, but I did grab a sugar-free cheesecake, sugar-free lemon. I had not seen that before. Really excited for that. The banana cream, butterscotch and chocolate fudge. This will tide me over for a little while and next time I shop, I'll grab some sugar-free vanilla. But this is a staple in my life because protein pudding is a staple in my life. A pound of ground chicken. I have a recipe in my meal prep that calls for ground turkey, but honestly, I like ground chicken better. So I'm gonna swap it out. This ground chicken is zero points on WW, just like the 99% ground turkey. So I thought I might as well get something I like a little bit better. So I picked up the ground chicken. I did grab a loaf of Wonder Bread for Troy. He had asked for a fresh loaf of bread. Here's a new food find and this was sitting next to the ground chicken and I thought these looked really good. These are from the brand Mighty Spark and these are the spinach and feta all natural chicken patties. 23 grams of protein, 170 calories per patty and I thought that these would make a really good lunch so we will try these out in Wednesdays what I eat in a day so definitely make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on because that is going to be part of a meal on that in that video. I needed some light shredded mozzarella cheese for a recipe and then some paper plates and I had a coupon for those as well so I picked up a 48 pack. You already know my addiction to the no sugar added bread and butter chips. I was completely out so I picked up another jar. Honestly, I wish they sold a huge jar because I would buy it. And then we were out of light mayo and I had a coupon for the Kraft Light Mayo. I also needed a restock of my Fairlife Low Fat Milk. And then here are the crackers that I found. These are new. They're from Graham Crunch Master. These crackers are a really crispy kind of rice cracker, but look at the flavor. Avocado toast, salt, and pepper. That sounds so good. You could put some avocado, some bruschetta on there. And then I thought they would be good with that dip. So I picked those up as well. So that is everything that I grabbed for groceries this week from Fries and Sprouts. So let's jump into what's on my menu for dinner and what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. So here is what is on my menu for the week. So today's Saturday, out to dinner. Tomorrow, Sunday, we're doing Sloppy Joe's. We've been on quite the Sloppy Joe kick. Monday, I'm doing a Mexican chicken and rice. You guys will actually see this recipe in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Tuesday's a leftover night. Wednesday, I'm making tacos. Thursday, we are going to dinner at a local theater. It's my husband's birthday, our wedding anniversary, and then my birthday. If you didn't know, our birthdays are one day apart and we got married on his birthday. So we're going to a Christmas vacation inspired theater event with my in-laws. So we'll be eating out on Thursday as well. And then Friday, we'll finish up any leftovers from earlier in the week. And then here's what you'll be seeing for meal prep on Monday. I am super excited for these recipes. I'm going to be making a zucchini blueberry baked oatmeal and I'm gonna amp up the protein in this so I'm excited for that lunch I'm doing a ground turkey sweet potato skillet sub ground chicken that's what I was talking about I decided to buy ground chicken instead of ground turkey and then for dessert for dessert I'm making maple glazed apple blondie so definitely subscribe 
turn your bell on and stay tuned for Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the good stuff that I picked up for the week, what's on my menu for dinner, what we're doing in meal prep. If you enjoyed today's grocery haul, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because we do a grocery haul every Saturday. And don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.